Okay. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hi. How was the day? Sarah's close. Close mic. Okay. All right, good. Uh, we're going to, yes, please restore it. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so we have the last one. The last exercise was about numbers, right? Okay, good. How many people do we have? 18, 18. Okay, this is one. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from one through 10. Let's listen and repeat. Zero. O. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number is 201 -555 Anna Silva's home phone number is nine one four five 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 two seven one four. Anna Silva's cell phone number is eight four five 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 one zero two three, and you get the idea. James Lang phone number. James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five 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 eight eight nine three. James Lang home phone number is 604-555-2714. 
James Lang's cell phone number is 250-555-1023. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is 713-695-3539. My cell phone number is, my wife's cell phone number is, you should give at least 10 examples and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, so those are the, the numbers that we were talking about yesterday. Okay, we have five. five. Five 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 cell phone number nine one and a, is two oh one five five. Okay, this one, I uh, remember yesterday you were asking me if you say zero, the number is zero, right? But you can also say. O, right? O or zero. When you are talking about phone numbers, but um, a, an informal, informal conversations. But if we're talking about a mathematics, okay, you case a, or, a, or a grade, for example, say 0 0.4 or 9.0, okay, or use uh, for math numbers, then you are going to use zero, not Oh, okay. Now the pronunciation zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, probably the zero, three, nine, four, okay, eight, nine. A zero three nine. Those are the numbers. All right. And share them in our discussion forums. Okay, now in this exercise here, we have. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? Okay, this is what's David Medina phone number, Michael. And then the number one is David Medina's phone number is. Oh. It's 212-555-1937. Okay, what's the number? 212-555-1937. Yes, that's it. Okay, who has the number? Quien tiene el numero? Tres en... Three, four, seria tres, cuatro, siete, no, cinco, no, cinco. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Iván Ibrahim. Yo del primero. Ah, del primero. Iván, 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 Iván Ibrahim. Escuchemos a Iván. Eh, sí. Dos, uno, dos, cinco, cinco, Bien. cinco, uno, nueve, tres, siete. Perfecto. Now in English. 212-555-1937. Okay, that's correct. Okay, there you go. Yes, thank you. Who has the number two? Levanta la mano. Okay, Francisco. Y luego Elsa Karin en el tres. Okay, Francisco, what's the number two? Number two, three, four, seven, five, five, five. 
seven, six, four, five. Correct. That's good. Uh, Elsa, the third one. Uh, two, zero, one, five, five, three, six, four, eight. There you go. Correct. Okay. Number four and five. Four and five. Who has the number four, number five? Okay, Jennifer Rivera. No, Janet, sorry, Janet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Janet, number four. Janet, Janet, Janet. No le funciona el mic. Okay, Francisco. Tell me the number four. Okay, Cecilia. Cecilia? Cecilia Marquez, go. Six, four, six, five, 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 three, eight, zero, six. Okay, good. Okay, Francisco, ready? The microphone, Francisco. Number five. Yes, please. Uh, six, four, six, five, 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 three, eight, oh, six. Yes, that's correct. Okay, Claudia Esmeralda. Number six, sería yes. el seven, one, Eight five 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 nine nine six zero zero six, zero yes okay good now just for you to confirm very good not gonna love me anymore but so quickly. Listen and complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's 212-555-1937. 212-555-1937? Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is 347-555-7645. 347-555-7645. That's right. Now let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is 201-555-3648, right? Yes, that's right. 201-555-3648. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is 646 Five 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 three eight zero oh, six. So Nicole's phone number is six four six five 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 three eight zero oh, six, and your number is six four six five 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 three eight zero oh, six. It's the same number. Right. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. Okay, great. Okay, 
then you see that, for example, Nicole phone number and Jennifer Miller is the same number, right? You say they are the same, similar, so they only repeat it. Okay, so that's about numbers. Okay, and they nos apuraron con los ejercicios, pero no sé por qué. Son más o menos dos días por lección, pero dos, tres días en una, and then we had chance for Monday, but they said today. Vamos a ir a la sección dos. En la sección dos tiene cuatro ejercicios. Y son, the first one is vocabulary. Okay, this is the first one. This is the section two. Ya avanzaron en, en ejercicios de la, de la sección dos. No. no. Okay. No problem. Eh, the first one, uh, creo que aquel día vimos también, ¿verdad? Cuando están los lapicitos, son los ejercicios. Son one, two, three, four. Y in this unit, in this section, we have, for example, what, <laughs> this is, uh, esto me da risa porque dice, by the end of this class, you will become familiar with common object language that people have in their bags. Okay, lo que por lo general andamos en la bolsa, tanto mujeres como hombres, right? Okay, so we have different objects. Entonces el vocabulario, vocabulario que vamos a ver acá es de objetos comunes que usamos a diario, right? Aunque el de las señoritas y señoras es sus misterias bolsas que andan. Okay, son unas armas letales. Es heavy, pero muy útiles. <laughs> yes. Believe it or not. Okay, we have this one here. So this one is, uh, for example, it says, what's in your bag? Can su bolsa. Okay, que hay en su bolsa. What's in your bag? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. Okay. This are, you know, like... Uh, people have in their bags. Brush. A wallet. Okay, these are the essentials, right? The essential things. For example, you have the, a, a camera, a keys, a cell phone, a hairbrush, a wallet, sunglasses, and a CD player. A, si ven esta, este bolso, Muchos, muchos de ustedes dirán, esa es la bolsa, la bolsa de mi abuelito o mi abuelita. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué creen que les digo eso? ¿Qué es ser la bolsa de, de, de mi abuelita? Porque todos los artículos ¿Qué? son antiguos ya. Por el CD player, <risa> no existen. No, no son antiguos. ¿Cómo no? Si existen tampoco, no existen. <risa> sí, ya están pasaditos de moda, right Pero yo los usé, entonces... <risa> No, si yo también, pero no se ve. Es una broma. Fíjense que, por ejemplo, este cell phone, me acuerdo que era un Motorola, ¿se acuerdan? Y que era flip. Y se abría así. Y ese, sí, era, es cierto. Y ese era como andar un iPhone ahora. Entonces, este era de, de mucho plante. Eh, el CD player, bueno, se usaba hasta para salir a correr. Right? Que sí, terminaba uno de lado, que era algo pesadito, pero igual que el Walkman, eh, pero el sonido era increíble, very nice. Eh, the camera, eh, yes and no, right? Pero ahora we have everything, the cell phone, 
the CD player and the camera only in the cell phone. It's only one object, okay? Three in one. Okay, you have the camera, the cell phone, and the CD player uh, in the same cell phone, right? So in the cell phone, we have that. Camera, music, CD player, and the cell phone to make calls, okay? La then, agenda uh, de los numbers. Perdón? También la agenda de los numbers. Exactly, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Yes, the other's book too. The other's book is here also. So you see, they, they reduce, right? What other objects can you find in a bag? ¿Qué otros objetos hay en una bolsa? Hasta hoy vamos a descubrir el secreto de las, de las mujeres. Pencil. Pencil. Pen. Pen, ajá. Uh -huh. A pencil, a pen. Money. Money. Umbrella. Um, yes, uh, eso es lo que es. Esa es. De los más pequeños. <laughs> Makeup. Yes, umbrellas. Uh -huh. La sombría, right? Yes, it's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. Okay, so we have, yes, umbrella. Pen. A pencil, un par de zapatos extras, right? Shoes, no. Si no es cierto que me lo niegue alguien, shoes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, que gano una mochila y a veces gano un par de zapatos extras, right? Una bolsa. Okay, good. What else? Cosmetics. Cosmetics, makeup, uh -huh. makeup. And cosmetics, right? Makeup. What else? Little hat. Little hat. Uh, little hat. Or a cap. Gorra también, right? Cap sometimes. What else? Um, probably. En fragancia, o la fragancia. Yes, the towel, yes. Una toallita pequeña, right, sometimes. They do, do, do. Eh, the per, per, perfume. Earrings. Yes. Earrings, yes. Earrings. What else? Jacket. Jacket. Comida. Cookies. Yes, cookies. Yes, cookies. No, es cierto. No, 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 cookies. Ahí pegando hasta cinco galletas de Atiana. Right, it's those cookies. Candies. Mm. Mm. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Conocido socialmente como TP. Toilet paper. Ok. What else? You see, all these things, you know, are just all things. Uh, are so they... medicine. Excuse me? Some medicine. Medi uh -huh, yes, some um, medicine, correct. Uh, the earphones. Okay, the earphones to listen to music. Okay, what else? Laptop. Uh, a laptop or tablet. Sometimes, yeah, laptop, but mostly it uh, can be a tablet. What else? Y para decir cargador teléfono sería phone charger. Yes, a charger on. We know, right? What else? Uh, and toy. And como juguetes. Toy. Para qué? Juguetes. Toy. Toys. 
Okay. Bueno, pero no tiene hijos. Teacher. Pero... Teacher. Yes. Uh, can you, how do you say botella con agua in English? Okay. This is the bottle of water. Bottle Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, a bottle of water. Cell Excuse me? What did you say? We had one. Okay, come on. What else? What else? One more. Come on, Susan Maria. Red, huh? Document. Oh, yes. Document. Document, yes. Documents. Your um, ID, right? The identification documents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe, ah, the money. No, alguien me lo dijo, pero no lo puse. Money. Y adentro de la cartera a veces anda una, una carterita. ¿no? Purse. 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 Ajá, es la purse va dentro de la bolsa. El bolso. Ok, ¿qué más? A veces hasta el corta uña. ¿eh? Ah, sí, yes, sí. Yes, nail trimmer. Ay, se me corrió. I won't be able to recover it. Trimmer. This is for the uña. Extra close. Yes, some some extra close. Okay, so it's convenient to have a camiseta or whatever. No se moja o algo. Some extra close. Okay, the light. Okay, then you see these are these are vocabularies, a coins. Monedas, right? Coins. What else? Green. Oh, yes. Creams. This is the second thing. Okay, but you have creams and cremas, right? For the hand. Y, okay. y la mascarilla, como se dice? But that's for mask. Yeah, the mask. The mask, la que pone ahí para alisar el cutis, yes. It's a mask. El alcohol gel. Yes. Uh, the alcohol. Now, yes, you know, you have to use alcohol. Right. Then, so this is vocabulary that we use you know, in different situations that we can have. A men, the men also have, uh, in el pantalón, a veces también damos uh, the wallet. Okay, the wallet. Que la, toothbrush. La billetera, right? A toothbrush, yes. Essential, right? Toothbrush. Period. Brush. Okay. Um, sometimes also uh, napkins. También, así como toilet paper, a veces también napkins, servilletas, right? Glass. Which one? Lentes también. Oh, glasses. Glasses. Así como los que yo ando y también hay sunglasses. Los míos son lentes y los que se ponen así oscuros para, para verse cool. Candies. Ajá, ese ya lo tenemos acá, candies. Por aquí lo puse, makeup towel. Eh, mon, money. 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 Yes, ya está, money. money. Okay, with money. What else? Se pide dientes. 
Yes, toothbrush. Aquí está el toothbrush. Cepillo de dientes. What else? Some sandwich. <laughs> yes. Para comer en el camino. Yeah. Some sandwich. Yeah. Un emparedado. Or some bread. Un pancito ahí, right? Okay. Fruit. Una frutilla ahí. Look good. Apple. Banana. Hay una bolsita de mango. Good. Una Perdón. snack. Which one? Okay. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. La plancha de pelo. Air iron sería. Iron. Air. Okay. También anda ahí. Ok, por eso. Por eso. Este, durante. Este, ¿qué pusimos? Ah. Este, un bug. Vamos por uno. This is the deodorant. Ok. I am here and that's. Ok. So that's vocabulary for. See different objects that we can that we can have, right? Just uh, these are only objects, small objects, pequeños que puedan caber en el bolso, right? A veces no todos van a andar ahí, right? But the let's say that those are the most common, the most common objects that we can see in the back or in the pockets of the man's pants too. When I, um, I, you can also use, I'm gonna write it there in the chat. Okay, Hilda, terrible. Okay, the backpack. Backpack or bag? Ok, yo creo que el backpack es más unisex. Hay señoritas o señoras que andan su mochilita. Men too. El bag, como son bolsos ya con otros diseños, son más estilos para, para señoras o señoritas, right? So then, uh, so the backpack or bag. O, todos esos objetos que acabamos de ver pueden estar en cualquiera de estos dos eh, say, accesorios, right? That we use accessories. Okay, like the backpack or bag. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, and a pen knife. No, no se van a reír, but a pen knife. Una navajita, una cuchilla, a veces es útil andarla en una mochila. Una, si uno quiere comer una manzana o algo, o abrir algo, no sé. Ok, siempre es un pen knife. Un pen knife es una cuchillita navajita pequeña, right? Eh, what else? ¿Qué otra cosa podría ser útil? Y común en una bolsa. Probably. Pañuelos. Ah, thank you. Bueno, están los dos. Están los tissues. Tissues que son los que vienen en, así como los Kleenex, right? Que vienen en bolsitas o en cajitas que son húmedos. Tissues. Eh, y están los handkerchief. Ese handkerchief es el pañuelo de, digamos, el tradicional, ¿verdad? Que es el de tela. Que es un handkerchief. Y el tissue son los. Eh, ¿Cómo le llaman en español? Me he olvidado. Toallitas, ¿no? Toallas húmedas. Ajá, son como las toallitas, son los tissues. 
que son como así como tejiditos, right? That's what they call tissues. Okay. So that's vocabulary, right? About it. Para usar ese vocabulario, necesitamos cuatro palabras. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? Okay, when you say, wow, what's this? Okay. Hmm? Wow, ¿qué es esto? Right, what's this? This, what's this? A cell phone. A cell phone, okay, what's this? Okay, lo estoy señalando, lo estoy tocando, cerca de mí es what's this? Okay, this. All right, uh, if I see this one, What's that? What window. Is the window, ajá. Uh -huh. Si ven, no lo alcanzo, no la toco, está más a la distancia. Entonces, utilizo that. Okay, and I say what's... Say that. that this como, como es, el, el this aplica como algo que puedo tomar digamos que tengo uh -huh. cercano y el that es como algo que, que señalo exactly Look. this that ok esto eso this that this that ok y en singular singular ok only one this that okay it's a camera oh cool thank you helen it's great you're welcome now open this box okay oh uh, what are these they're earrings oh they're what are these? What are these? What are these? What are these? One, two, three, four, five. What are these? Five finger. Uh, fingers. Plural. Plural. Uh -huh. What are these? Fingers. Plural. Okay. What is this? Singular, cell phone. What are these? Plural, fingers. Okay? Yes. Interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this that spell out T H I S whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? 
it's an airing. On the other hand, on the screen you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? Their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay. question about two or more objects. Okay, remember that this is singular, these is plural. Para cosas que podemos, tenemos cerca. Okay, these and these. Okay, this one, singular, this. Plural, these. Eh, la pronunciación del primero es más relajada. This. What's this? Como una I corta. La segunda, el plural, está aquí. Estoy señalando aquí ahorita. Ese es this. Si ven, es una... Se tensan, la, se tensan los labios de this. Y el otro se relaja. This. Entonces uno es corto y el otro es largo. This, this. This, this. This, this. ¿Ok? What's this? ¿Qué es esto? Okay. What are these? Their earrings. Okay, for example, what's this? It's a cell phone. What are this? This is plural. What are this? They are? Glasses. They are glasses. Correct, okay. They are glasses. Good. And then we have other examples here. Now we have the number one. We say, what is this, right? What is this? Wait a minute here. We have uh, somebody coming in. Somebody's coming in here. What is this? Just let me check if I can put it in the other one. Okay, number one, keys, right? Number two, the CD player. CD player. Number three, back. 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 Four. What? Watch. Watch. Five. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. And six. Sunglasses. 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 Oh, exactly. Sunglasses. Good. So this is what we have here. The number two, it's uh, CD player, right? CD player. A CD player. Uh, number three, it's a, what, uh, let's say their backpack. Are this? Or these? Or this. Or are, are these? First or second? The second, right? Second. Are these? Second. Are these? Yes. 
Number four, what's this? Number four? It's a watch. Uh -huh. It's a watch. a watch. Number one. It's a watch. It's a watch. Number one. Yes. And the number five. What? What? What is this? What is this? What are these, right? What is this? It's a cell phone. Number six. What are these? They are sunglasses. They are sunglasses, correct. And there you go. Show answers. They are correct. Okay, correct, correct, correct. No problem. Ok, eh, si ven acá, solo hemos practicado las eh, singular y plural de lo que está cerca que tenemos, ok, que es esto y que son estos, right? En la imagen que vemos acá tenemos What are these? They are keys, plural. What is this? It's a CD player, singular. What are these? They are backpacks, plural. What is this? It's a watch, it's singular. What is this? It's a cell phone, singular. What are these? They are sunglasses, plural. Okay. Then we have Las just no questions de lo que les mandé aquel día en el documento, pero antes lo que está en la mayoría aquí voy a, a pasar lista rapidito para que. Ok, we have algunos de ustedes ya los vi, por ejemplo, solo me confirma Abiel, ya está aquí. Alison también. Amanda. Ana Vilma. Eh, Ariel. Brian. Carlos. Eh, Carlos. Carlos Alfredo. Y Carlos Edgardo. Carmen Celina, Ceci Guadalupe, Cecilia Noemí Alvarenga. Right. Esos son los que yo ya, ya lo vi. Ok. Eh, Claudia Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Tenemos a Claudia Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Then we have eh, Claudia Stephanie. Claudia Stephanie. No. Present. Ok, good. Eh, Dalia, Dalia Margarita. Present. Ok, Deris está, ¿verdad? Deris, Deris. Present. Deris, ya. Débora. Débora Raquel. Present. Edgardo Alarcón. Present. Eduardo Escobar. Present. Elsa Karina, no, Elsa, Elsa, Elsa Karina y Elsa, Patri Elsa y Patricia. Patricia. Bueno, está Patricia. Entrado Patricia. Eh, Gisela Emperatriz. Present. Héctor Iván. Present. Okay. Present, teacher. No problem. And then we have uh, Hilda Norma. También la vi entrar. Salió nuevamente. Hilda. Así está. Sí. Yes. And Iván. Ya está. Jacqueline Karim. Jaime Ernesto. Present. Janet Carolina. Present. Okay, so Jacqueline Karina, sí, ahí está, ya la vi. Present. Okay, es una Patricia, no está, ¿verdad? ¿Hay alguien que no mencioné? Francisco Antonio. Here, teacher. ¿Alguien que no he mencionado? A mí, teacher. ¿A quién, quién me dijo a mí? Yo, Amanda. 
Amanda Díaz. Amanda, Amanda. No, aquí usted está la primera, que sí, ya la había visto. Así que la primera es... <risa> no, sí, aquí está. Royal Lady. Thank you, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, solo Patricia Sánchez. ¿Cómo está? Ok. Siempre viene. Ok, good. Then, we're going to go back. Y rápido paso el tiempo con ustedes. Good. We have persons, yes, in Cisco. Okay, then we have in the next one. This is just no questions with where. Que esto ya lo estuvimos practicando, pero vamos a ver aquí con is this and are this. Yeah? With es esto o son estos. Okay, watch the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. <sighs> Excuse me. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So, let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet we have the verb to be in this case happens to be is and then we're going to use this the complement in this case is your wallet and then of course we put a question mark there um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys uh, we have a verb to be these your keys and of course we put a question mark at the end let me give a couple of more examples is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things. In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with yes, it is, no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are, no, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why. 
are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay, Timbo. Uh, for the question, where is your wallet? Pocket. And all. Okay. Uh, questions? Is this your wallet? Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? Are these your keys? Uh, for example, when you say, who are uh, these boys? ¿Quiénes son estos muchachos? Who are these boys? Uh, who? Let me. So that we can use here the chat. Let's say, for example, who are these children? Who are these children? Okay, then you say they are. They are Tom. They are Tom and uh, Indiana. Okay. ¿Quiénes son estos niños, right? Son Tom y Diana. So then this is another question. Let's go who, what, when. Okay, when are these games? When are these the players? Okay, when are this when are these When is this game? Okay, this is another question. When is this game? ¿Cuándo es este juego? Y ahí pueden ver un calendario, right? Eh, juega España, what? España, Portugal. Okay, when is this game? Oh, the game is tomorrow. Oh, yes. This is the play today. today? Today, I uh, had today. Yes, King and Nothing. Empate. One, 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 right? Yes, one, one, finalizó. Okay, so then this is when is this game or when was this game? Okay, uh, tomorrow probably there is another game and then you can use that one. Okay, uh, let me see. Ya no tenemos más tiempo. 
¿Qué seguía acá? Sigue el, bueno, el ejercicio, creo. Está aquí, que es de utilizar, si vemos el this con una i, right, es singular, es, si vemos el these, vamos a usar are. Uh -huh. Ajá. Aquí, por ejemplo, aquí, si vemos, aquí en la, aquí en la respuesta. Están sobre la mesa. ¿Dónde están? Entonces, where. where. Uh -huh. And there you go. Where. Is this my pen? No. It's not. No, it's not, porque es singular. It's mine, right? Then you have, uh, that's all. Y ahí estamos. Okay, so we have. Teacher. Yes, diga. Una cuestión. Este, mire, con respecto a la revisión de las actividades, hasta esta parte nos vamos, van a revisar o todo, todito, todito completo. Dice que, este, yo tenía entendido y a mí me o sea, he estado trabajando siempre que yo hago, por ejemplo, hago una unidad, digamos la sección 1 y parte, así ya estamos hasta la mitad de la 2. El lunes terminó la 2 y el martes y miércoles la 3. Pero es que nos dijeron que le hiciéramos sí. toda y la iban a revisar. Sí, sí, eso. Ajá, yo, vi, yo vi ahora el, el, el mensaje, me mandaron una mil, yo expliqué que así tra he trabajado siempre y no sé. Pero este, eh, trabajemos, eh, hagan las otras dos. Aquí, cuando es esta y la otra, es, creo que es de. Es siempre de vocabulario. The books are, esta creo que son preposiciones, in, on, at. Ajá, y, que esa parte, teacher. Yo todavía no lo he hecho porque o sea, no lo entiendo todavía. Va, entonces, eh, hagan hasta después y el lunes lo terminamos. ¿verdad? Entonces, a ver. Teacher, ¿y eh, hasta el día de mañana está para terminarlo o ahora se tiene que terminar? Yo vi que decía ahora, pero, o sea, no he terminado el curso, pues, y creo que lo pueden hacer mañana, no hay ningún problema. Sí, porque no me ha quedado para... mucho sí, cualquier tiempo libre para yo, hacer. Mañana en la tarde les puedo echar la mano, ¿verdad? Para que... Ajá, yo pensaba que... hacerlo el día de mañana, pero... No sabía si ahora era el último día. Porque, de... vaya, por ejemplo, en este ejercicio hay unas cosas que el audio no pegan con la respuesta, entonces a veces sale mal. Ah, este, si gustan, me lo mandan, porque ahorita ya tengo que entrar a la otra clase. Okay. Y este, pero, pero mañana en la tarde podemos resolver lo que hagan falta. Ok, yo les echo la mano ahí. Ok, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye, no. teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.